is 242, and today I have two Let's Not Meet stories. Now, I hope you're staying comfortably as we begin our tale of people you don't want to meet. Man breaks into my house. Out of fear, I threw a knife at him. So this is my first time posting here. Please be patient. This was back in 2015, where I was 16 years old. Male, by the way. This was in the summer where both my parents went to visit some relatives out of town. They would not be home for three days. I was the only child and I was the only one left in the house. My grandma did visit me every single day to make me lunch. They did not ask that of her, since I did know how to cook, but who can stop her? But of course, she didn't stay during the night. That's when I went wild, watching movies, gaming, watching YouTube. Everything you could picture a 16-year-old doing when his parents aren't home. So, the second night I was watching a movie and I ran out of chips. I paused the movie and went down to the kitchen to grab some more. Then I hear a window break and a door opening. The kitchen was separate from the living room where the door was opened. I grabbed a knife and slowly peeked my head around and there he was. A tall man, around two meters, so six feet tall, had a baseball cap on and some old jacket, probably leather. It was torn on the right sleeve. My phone was in the room upstairs. From the kitchen door, the stairs were directly to the right, so in my dumbass mind, I was thinking I could sneak past him and lock myself in. He was going through the shelf next to the door very loudly, might I say. And so I got to the stairs somehow, and he turns around and realizes I was there. Out of fear, I guess. I screamed. I threw the knife at him. I missed him, but hit the wall beside his head, stuck the knife in there. I guess he got scared by me and my savage screaming and the throwing, and he ran out before I could grab another knife. Yes, I ran to get another. Adrenaline is one hell of a drug. When I saw he had left, I ran to my room and called the cop. They came quickly and just took some fingerprints and some DNA samples. Next morning, I called my parents and they came back around noon. I don't know why, but I kept the knife lodged in the wall next to the door. So the first question asked is, why is there a knife in the wall? We changed the front door with a more heavy-duty one. They arrested the guy within the same week. One of the cops told me that the guy was thinking I was going to kill him and tried to call the police on attempted murder. So I guess the moral of the story is hide when someone is robbing your house or learn to act like a maniac. The guy who spoke to me on the phone in the electronics department. So I work for a major retailer you've all heard of. This is from a year and a half ago, back when I worked in the electronics and photo departments. One afternoon, I answered the phone and spoke to a customer. He wasn't very direct about what exactly he was looking for. At first, he said he was looking for a gift for a family member that he hated. He said he wanted it to be something they would accept because of the obligation, but would absolutely hate. I asked if he was looking for a type of gay gift, and he dodged my question. Instead, he started asking me what I would buy if I wanted to get a gift for a family member like that. I said I wasn't sure but maybe a movie or some music they don't like would be a good choice. Then he surprised me by asking me what type of movies I liked watching. I said it wasn't anything that would really fit what he's looking for, as I usually watch anime. Next he asked if there was something I'd want to watch over dinner. I said I certainly do watch it while I eat dinner sometimes, not knowing where he was going with this. Then he said, No, I mean with me. I laughed nervously and told him no. Then I quickly changed the subject back to what he was looking for 
and he asked if we had a certain TV series in stock. I told him I'd go check. By this point, I was feeling pretty uncomfortable, but I wanted to keep up my customer service and not disappoint the customer by being rude. So I found what he was looking for, and then I told him the price and how many copies we had. After this, he asked me some questions about myself, and I told him that perhaps I wasn't the best person to help him. So I handed the phone off to a male coworker. I walked away from the desk at this point, and made my way back to the photo department, where I felt safer as I wasn't in direct view of customers who were walking around. I took a moment to collect myself before I left. This next part was of my coworker's interaction with the customer on the phone. My coworker introduced himself in the usual manner and asked how he could help. The man said, Oh man, where did the cute bubbly girl go? My coworker replied with an improvised response of, Oh, she's actually our photo associate. She doesn't know as much about electronics. To which the customer responded with, Oh, I'd like to see some pictures of her naked. To which my coworker did not know how to respond. The customer then said it would be easier to just shop in person and that he'd be back later to see me and hung up. I asked my coworker if he was ever able to get the customer off the phone. He told me what the customer said and I felt sick. I was also so terrified of coming in contact with the customer that I went to management and reported the issue. They chuckled and said there wasn't anything they could do about it and likely was just a prank call. I was worried about spending any time on the sales floor, but I still had to complete my shift. That evening, I was terrified. I politely asked a male coworker to walk me to my car. He obliged, and we saw no trace of a creepy guy anywhere, and I've never heard from him since. So, to the creepy guy who called my work, let's never meet. With that, we're at the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed those stories, and if you did, hit that like button, and subscribe if you would like to hear more. Of course, hit that shiny shiny bell, and make sure you hit all notifications. Have a good night, or day. Bye guys.